Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we're going to build a high gain antenna for HDTV. What we're looking at are two HDTV antennas. They are both identical and they are both wide bands. They cover the range from 400MHz to 800MHz. One is connected to the set-top box or the HDTV receiver box and the other one is connected directly to the HDTV which is your flat panel HDTV. Although the two antennas we have seen just now work well for me for receiving foreign channels, they do not work at my parents' house due to a different location. This is why I've decided to build a higher gain antenna which is tuned to the center frequency of 682 MHz for the foreign channels that I plan to receive. For the antenna design, I've decided to go with the bi quad antenna. Here I have the PCB bi quad from my previous video. And as you can see, this is the refractor, the signal element, and the director. For the element of our antenna, we will be using copper sheet. And for the refractor, we will be using the white board there. It's a magnetic white board, and it's big enough to be used as a refractor. However, do make sure that the white board that you purchase for the refractor is made of conductive material because the refractor has to be conductive like aluminum, copper or steel so keep that in mind to create the element for this antenna I have already printed out the design on the A4 papers over there so I will cut them out and stick it onto the copper sheet and using that as the guiding template I will be able to cut out the bow tie out of this copper sheet and with the excess material here, I'll be able to use it for the director. The director. Well, I bought this copper shade from a local arts and craft store called Art Friend, and as you can see, it's not perfect. So when positioning the template for cutting, I tried to have the wanted portion position such that I'm avoiding the dins and dents on the copper shade. As for the length of the copper shade here, you need it to be. 40 cm in length and its height to be 17 cm. Now that the glue has dried, it's time to do the cutting. So after cutting the signal element, I realized that the signal element is actually quite flimsy because the copper sheet which I'm using is not thick enough. So I got myself piece of balsa sheet. Balsa has a very low dielectric value and is the best wooden material for antenna. Here I've pasted the flimsy piece of signal element which I've cut out onto the balsa sheet to give it structure. And I also have this wooden dowels cut out. They are about 9 cm in height and this would be placed as spaces or rather standoffs so that the signal element has the correct height away from the refractor and by the way this refractor is the white board this is the back view of it and it looks great because it's silver so I'm gonna have the signal element on top of it like so and also I have the director which is ready Likewise, I have used the balsa wood to give it some support structure. And for the spaces, I'm using styrofoam. These are styrofoam blocks cut to the height of about 2 cm. And this will give it the correct separation distance from the signal element. So the next steps would be to drill the center hole for the coaxial to go through and to drill the four holes to attach these wooden dowels.
Uh, the bicord antenna is done now and this is how it looks like from the front and from the side and we have the coaxer here to connect to the set-top box well here's the moment of truth I'm going to test the antenna with my network analyzer to read its VSWR which is the standing wave ratio if you notice there is a matching pad here it converts the 75 ohms input from the antenna to 50 ohms because the analyzer is rated for 50 ohms so let me do that now all right now it's doing a scan of the VSWR and I have the center frequency set to 682 megahertz which is the frequency of the digital channels that I'm going to pick up and here we have a nice frequency response this is 1.5 VSWR and you see that dip here it starts from about 400 megahertz all the way down and along the green line it's 572 megahertz and the white line is the frequency that I'm interested which is 682 megahertz and at 682 megahertz we are getting about 1.3 VSWR which is not too bad and we could use this antenna all the way up to here which is VSWR 1.5 and that's about close to 720 megahertz so I'm pretty happy with the return loss that I'm getting from the antenna I'm pretty sure that it will work well for the 682 megahertz with such a low VSWR of 1.3 Okay, I have the set top box set to the region of UK and with the T2 signal and T2 light signal support both turned on I'm going to do a search and I have the antenna positioned at 1.5 meters away from the window now it's picking up the four local channels six local channels so we have six local channels here in Singapore the rest would be foreign channels if any is able to be detected by this antenna okay now it's detected additional channels which are foreign channels and now we have a total of 11 channels including the six local channels so the antenna is able to detect foreign channels now here's a size comparison of this new bi-quad antenna against the old omnidirectional HDTV antenna which I have built in the past video. As you can see, this new bi-quad antenna is a much stronger gain antenna and it allows detection of foreign channels which previously could not be detected at my parents house here. If you'd like to build this antenna for yourself, be sure to download the template given in the video description. That's all I have, I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching.